We will pick our teams for the game. It'll be Alisson in goal, we assume, Gorsty, but could be one or two changes, do you think, across the back four? Yeah, I don't uh, I don't suspect that Joel Matter will be risked. I think Klopp said that it wasn't a tactical change, was it? And because they could make five subs, that they just thought, well, let's just not risk it and bring them off. So I think uh, I think Canate might start. Could be an opportunity for Simakas. We know the Klopp doesn't particularly enjoy the Thursday night Sunday afternoon schedule, so um, that could be a potential change. But I thought Robertson was, was really good last night. So it's nice to have those options, but I think I might go Simakas for this one, give Robertson a little bit of a breather. Uh, Van Dyke again and, and Canate and, and Trent. Yeah, Dory, it's it's an interesting one at left back, isn't it? I thought we might have, have seen Simicass uh, on, on Thursday. Every week. To be honest, but You're saying this every week. I, I know, but I mean, there's I mean, there's obviously an argument to bring Simicass in oh. for for this one, but then of course it's it's a couple of weeks after that that Liverpool play. So wouldn't you just keep Robertson in there? I don't know. It's it's a tough one. Depends. They do all the they've got the sports science, haven't they? They'll know that Robertson's played X amount of minutes over the past five day five weeks or whatever the hell it is, but. They'll, they'll they'll have something sorted because you know Simicast has proven himself to be quite an able deputy for Robertson. Obviously, he's not quite as good, but he's a lot better than he was when he when he first arrived. And he's he's probably Liverpool's best kind of other option at fullback that that they've had that they've had in in, in quite some time on, e, on either flank. So I think that uh, I I think Simicast will play. Actually, I would anyway. I'd play him against Palace and. Yeah, Matip's not playing. I play Canati alongside Van Dijk and Trent. Yeah, I'm in agreement. I'll stay with you for your midfield as well. I mean, Oxley chamberlain was back running yesterday, but probably won't be risked. Who are you going to go for? Are you going to stick with Curtis Jones and Henderson and Fabinho or, or change it up? Well, I'm certainly going to stick with Curtis Jones and Fabinho. Um, in terms of the other player, tough one, really. Um, is Ox definitely out? He said oh. he possibly could train on Friday, yeah. so today as we're recording yeah. it. But so it's, I mean, it's, he only got injured on Sunday. So if he's if he's making his if he's coming back on Friday, he's not going to have lost, lost much fitness, really. Yeah. So if he's if he's fit, he's, he's if he's running around and training on Friday, he'll be available. Basically, it's not like someone who's been out perhaps at the ages. Um, I'd probably start him uh, alongside, you know, say Fabinho and Curtis Jones. I think Jordan Henderson has looked incredible. Excuse me, incredibly tired. The last couple of games, I think he probably needs a rest. And I know they're getting one anyway for the next two weeks. Certainly, some, most of the players are. But I don't see any point in, you know, if, if this is a game where they can give him a rest, because once this is over, then they've got, what was it, six, seven weeks of loads of Premier League games, Champions League starts, hopefully a couple of FA Cup games and a League Cup final. So it's there's quite a lot of games there. All the players will be needed, you know, I think Klopp said, uh, Pep Linder, sorry, said earlier this week that Thiago will be back very shortly. Ron specifically said that Origi will be back after Cardiff. Seems I thought it was a little bit odd. Um, how could he know that far ahead? Um, so, uh, yeah, Liverpool are getting some numbers back, but they need, they need to be alert because Palace, Palace didn't play midweek, did they? Palace haven't played. Think so. Don't think did so. Palace play last week? No idea. Let's. Uh... <laughs> Let's we probably <laughs> should do a bit of research. Yeah. You talk between yourselves, and I'll, I'll find out. I'll find out. Fourteen uh, so January. At the moment, so at the moment, I'll go Oxley, Oxley Chamberlain. So they threw um, at Brighton last week. Fabinho Jones. They what? Sorry. They threw at Brighton last Friday night. Oh, that's right. Yeah, one all. Yeah, old goal. Yeah, that's right. I saw that as well. So I'll... anyway, it's been a long week. If that feels like much longer than a week ago, yeah. I have to say. <laughs> yeah, it's actually less than a week. <laughs> Yeah, oh, um, but yeah, I suppose that is that is a, a nice little rest for them. But uh, Gorsty, midfield, who are you going to go for? Um, I mean, it, it, it virtually picks itself, doesn't it? Um, Milner, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to see Henderson get a rest just because I think he's looked a little bit jaded of late. Um, but then again, you made a good point earlier, Matt, when you said... Um, you know, this Liverpool's last game for what two weeks is it? Is it is it Leicester yeah. the next day or um, Cardiff? Yeah. Yeah. And even then, you'd, you'd still imagine quite a fair few changes for that. So, um, yeah, they can have a rest on Sunday night. I'm going to go with um, Fabinho, Henderson, and Jones deserves to keep his place. To be fair, I think he's been very good the last few games. 
Yeah, I'm going to go with that as well, I think. I do have a little feeling that it might be James Milner, but I'd rather mm. see Jordan Henderson, I think. So uh, yeah. I will go with him. Doily, front three, Minamino back in. Um, if they got left, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, it'll have to be. Mm. It'll have to be that. I think Minamino, but of course, Minamino, that 7 0 was the the first time he. In fact, I can tell you that's the, that, that was his first Premier League goal he's got for Liverpool. That's the, I'm pretty sure it's the last Premier League game he started for them. That's how long ago it is. So that shows you kind of how he's not been involved as much as you might might think he he has been. As but obviously spent half the last season on loan at Southampton. But uh, yeah, it's got to be Minamino, Jota, and Firmino. I thought Firmino was good second half. Actually, kind of he struggled a little bit first half, but once he got he, he, somebody must you know, Klopp must have said something to him, or he just seemed to have a, a rocket up his backside in the second half. So I was quite impressed with him then. Uh, and Firmino. Now, I might be right here. I'm sure he scored a couple of goals at Crystal Palace. He certainly scored a winner at one point. Yeah. So he doesn't mind playing in this game. You know, certain players have opponents they like to play against. And I think Palace might be one. Well, he scored uh, he scored two, didn't he, in the 7-0. So he does like playing against Palace. Uh, whether Jota's on the left or Minamino's on the left. Personally speaking, I've got Jota on the left and Minamino on the right. And I'm, I'm trying to remember. Did mean, I mean, he came on on the right, didn't he, last night? Yeah, he yeah, did, it was a straight, yeah. straight swap, wasn't it? Yeah, so he can do it. And, you know, if they don't get so Liverpool don't get things sorted, it's, if, if Ox isn't playing in midfield, he could come on. He could even start there, I suppose, but I probably wouldn't do that. Um, and if, I'm just looking at midfield. Tyler Morton, could he get a game? If, if oh, come on a sub, you know, so he, he's got a bit of energy. You know, he's got young legs, and we've seen with. Curtis Jones, what a difference that can make. But yeah, the front three is going to have to be those front three, but I'd have Jot on the left and Minamino on the right. Yeah, same for you, Ghosty. Again, not much choice, is there? Well, no, that's it, isn't it? Um, I was looking at the bench yesterday and, and Minamino was literally the only attacking sub. Um, I think um, and... Alisson was the, the third top scorer on the bench. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> and he, <laughs> and he obviously <laughs> tweeted that, yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah, it, it has to be, doesn't it? Really, um, I'd be wary of starting Kate Gordon again. Um, it's nice to see him get some game time here and there, but preferably when the pressure's off and the games are won. Um, so yeah, it has to be Minamino. I think this is this is a big game to the sense that it's the, probably the last game Liverpool have to muddle through, won't it? Yeah, they've done quite. They've actually done quite well. Well, they got they got through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. They won. They got into the League Cup final and they won the one Premier League game that they, they had to play and they won it fairly comfortably. So this is the last one. They could, if you just get through this, then I think Klopp will be well happy with what's happened in January. Yeah, absolutely. Not too long until Mane and Salah and Keita are all back. But uh, for this one, I'm going to go a 2-0 win for Liverpool. I think I can see them just about being comfortable. Not quite comfortable, but comfortable enough to get the three points. Gorsley, I'll come to you first. What do you reckon it might be? Um, it's not going to be seven nil, but I, I, I think Liverpool will um, will do enough. I think it might just be squeeze past them two one, maybe. Interesting, Doody. I think it's going to be one of those proper struggle games um, that there seems to be a lot of uh, during the course of a season. I, I think Groove goes. I think Liverpool will win two one, but if it ended up being one all, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, hopefully we're all right on the 2-1, uh, the 2-0 two two scorelines and plenty of build-up and reaction, of course, to come in all of the usual places. But for now, my thanks go to Ian Doyle and to Paul Gorse for joining me and, of course, for you two at home for watching and listening along. Until next time, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>